the reaction of people when they come here. Uh, we had a, a travel agent from uh, Hong Kong and he, he said he's been all over the world and never seen anything like it. He just said it's superb. We think it's pretty special. It's a nice part of the coast. We've got huge beaches to the south and, and a couple of little secluded beaches to the north. Uh, Gap Beach is the next one over from Smoky Cape and it's a beautiful little beach as well. It was built in 1891, or commissioned in 1891, uh, designed by James Barnett, built by William Oakes, uh, and finished in, on the 15th of April 1891. Uh, so that's when it was lit up for the first time. And of course you had to have your three operators and their families in their cottages, uh, because you were so isolated from the rest of the community. Um, Back in the days of horses and carts and things like that, you didn't have the roads that we've got today to just jump in your car and drive to work. So it was, you had to be on site. I think just the history and the, and the, the um, light itself, like the prisms and uh, the light shining into the air of a night, looks really nice. And the mechanism up the top, it's, it's a first order lens, it's, it's original, uh, it's a nine panel prism, so it rotates. Uh, the, we've got one bulb which is 120 volt and a thousand watt, uh, and then the prism rotates around that and creates nine beams into the air. All of our guests, I try to get into the light. Uh, if, they, if they want, I bring them up, explain what's happened here over the years and, and give them a tour of the light. Uh, we go up into the top and out onto the balcony and, and do all the internal stuff. It's quite, and most people that come here, that's the highlight of their, of their whole visit to Australia or the mid-north coast. Uh, we've got bed and breakfast and we've got self-catering cottages. Both of our B&B rooms have got en suites into them, uh, so you don't need to walk down hallways and things to get to your shower and toilet. So uh, yeah, we think ours is pretty special. It's not so much the isolation of the place, it's, it's, the, it's the surround, you're surrounded by national parks. It's, we're in Hathead National Park. Uh, you don't see houses other than our little three houses. There's nothing to be seen anywhere. You've got all this bushland and the, and the wildlife, um, whales travelling the coast, dolphins. Uh, you see the odd shark circling fish on the beaches. Um, fishing on the beaches and around the rocks. It's, it's really just a nice place to live. The kangaroos are just the, the highlight. Like, they drive in late of an afternoon and here's six or eight or ten kangaroos hopping around the, the garages where they park their car. They walk up the hill, they brush past them. Uh, nine times out of ten they get up the next morning and there's one in the backyard and they look out the window and there's a is a six foot kangaroo looking through the window. <laughs> well, I guess you go, I gauge the, the, the enjoyment of a job as to how quick the time goes. Um, and time flies here. It, it only seems a couple of years since we moved in and it's already, we're into our eighth year. Uh, it's just been unbelievable. Mm -hmm.